best friends balance vibrations to all of you thank you so much for coming by today i am mystic mommy of course i love to talk about motherhood and spirituality and plants and cannabis so if you're looking for those types of things i'm your girl today i want to talk about yarrow and i'll have a picture of the yarrow plant and the flower over here somewhere for you guys i also have some dried yarrow here that i actually received as a gift um a free gift in a package that i ordered of some tea and some herbal multivitamins so you can check out that in my last video um but yes i do have some dried yarrow here that came with a little card gratitude and a cute handwritten card from the CEO of Upful Blends, Chantel. She's a beautiful soul. And so anyways, this is the yarrow that I was gifted. I haven't used it yet. I need a reason to use it, honestly. But I wanted to talk about yarrow today. And let you know some of the medicinal benefits of yarrow. Also, um, I might read some quick little snippets from this herbal book that I'm reading and using to learn about plants with. Starting out, this is my journey. And so yeah, let's get into it. So yarrow, the scientific name for yarrow is Achelia millifolium and I'll have that in print for you so you can see how that looks and how it's spelled um, yarrow can be used coincidentally for um, a wide variety of things it was considered or is considered the blood moving herb so a lot of its um, qualities and um, sort of essences and powers if you want to say that um, has to do with blood so here are some interesting remedies that yarrow is known to be used for hemorrhages and fever relieving or treating those so it can help uh, reduce a fever and it can also um, stop bleeding so like basically it conge congeals the blood and stops it from bleeding out profusely out of the wound um, it is a digestion stimulant essentially it helps support digestion and it's also going to help keep your digestion system flowing the way that it should be so for example if you had like um Let's say you were constipated, for example. This would help stimulate your digestive system and help you poop. It's gonna help your body process whatever, um, you know, is causing an imbalance in your dig digestive, digestive system. It is a remedy for congealed blood, so it can loosen the blood where blood has been congealed and there is a blockage of some sort. And there is also a flip side of that where yarrow is also a um, a bloodletting like stopper. So it can stop blood flow and encourage blood flow depending on what the situation is. So this is like really deep how plants have this knowing in their essence of how to... Um, how to stimulate different parts of the body for our own benefit. Yarrow is a good remedy for radiation uh, 
It is also good for burns, um, so it's good for relieving uh, pain and things from burns. Uh, it is a remedy for unconsciousness, pain, respiratory mucus, diverticulitis, colitis, adult onset diabetes, um, angina or pain in the thorax, blood toxification, menstrual issues, uh, uterine fibroids, and heat entering the blood. Also, yarrow is good for ridding your body of inflammation, especially in female genitalia. So yarrow is very well known for being a good assistant in menstrual and female reproductive system um, issues, related issues. Also, yarrow is good for balancing your hormones, um, toning the uterus, lowering blood pressure. Um, yarrow is an antiviral and an antibacterial, and like I said already, it is anti-inflammatory. Um, it offers oxygen flow to organs, the nervous system, and the endocrine system, and thereby supporting elimination of brain fog. Yarrow also helps relieve toothaches. So these are all very interesting things um, that I have collected and read about for yarrow and its medicinal benefits. Um, I'm going to save this for a good time when I really need it. Hopefully I don't need it because hopefully I don't cut myself and I'm bleeding profusely, but you never know. So this is going to come in handy. And it's really funny that I got this as a gift. And it was literally the first plant in this book that I'm reading that I've been taking notes on. So it's just synchronistic. And this is the book that I wanted to show you guys, share with you guys. Um, the book is called The Book of Herbal Wisdom. Using Plants as Medicine. And it's by Matthew Wood. Um, Matthew Wood is an herbalist. He's also an author. He is a homeopath. And I want to read a couple just key things about yarrow that I found in here that I thought was very interesting. Um... <coughs> Here's a picture of the plant, a drawing of it. And usually the flowers are white or like pink. Yarrow is a familiar wildflower found in open fields and waste places throughout the Northern Hemisphere. Um, it has a long history of use in herbal traditions in Europe, Asia, and North America. Coincidentally, there's another flower that is almost identical to it that can be used interchangeably with yarrow, supposedly. And that flower is called, or that plant is called, uh, Achillea lanulosa. Um, and apparently they're just slightly different based on chromosomes. Some Native American tribes, specifically the Ojibwe and Anishinaabe, called the yarrow plant squirrel tail. Oh, here is a little side note. Yarrow is especially called for when hemorrhage, when a hemorrhage results from a fever. So that's good to know. Oh, also, um, it's just supposedly very good for deep cuts and bruises, like cuts to the bone, third level, or cutting to the third level of blood. This book is really interesting because it breaks down, like, the 
characteristics, the physical characteristics of the patients that were using Yaro and what their specific symptoms were and how they see certain patterns in certain symptoms and correlating that to different plants, specifically Yaro. So this is a really interesting book. Um, it's super detailed, so I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. I mentioned the idea of the third level of the blood to my friend Halsey Brandt, an herbalist, an herbalist in Bisbee, Arizona. I know what that means, he said, without batting an eyelash. He gave a different interpretation, interpretation which is just as valid. The capillaries are the first level of the blood. The, ar the arterioles are the second and the arteries are the third. This is an excellent idea because yarrow is suited to deep cuts which penetrate to the arteries, resulting in profuse hemorrhage of bright red blood. The idea also applies to fevers. The yarrow fever cuts deeply past the superficial level of defense, penetrating to the deep vas vasculature. Yarrow churns up the blood deep in the interior, bringing heat to the surface. Yarrow both caused and cured bleeding. Yarrow is good for nosebleeds. Yarrow both stops and Yarrow both stops hemorrhage and breaks up congealed blood. The concept of cuts to the bone and cuts to the third level of the blood also ties in with the doctrine of signatures, which is a concept in herbalism. One year I was teaching a class in Oregon. One of the students, Malcolm Gardner, was an experienced botanist. He was dissatisfied with my meager rendition of the signatures for this plant and suggested another. The lacy leaves are actually a single leaf which has been cut back to the rib or vein through evolutionary processes. The plant itself is literally cut to the bone and the artery. It says here, Yarrow relieved the symptoms of tuberculosis but did not cure it. Richard Katz and Patricia Kaminsky of the Flower of Essence Society cite Yarrow and Pink Yarrow as flowers for psychic protection. Fun fact, here's some more information about yarrow um, relieving or being used to treat problems with radiation. It says here, FES, which is the Flower Essence Society, FES also recommends yarrow special formula for use in problems caused by radiation. This flower essence is made in a carrier of sea salt water. Flower essence practitioner Yolanda Lacombe of Los Angeles says, it has a beneficial effect not only on nuclear radiation, but also from radiation therapy or electromagnetic smog. She cites one case where a 14 year old girl was environmentally ill and highly sensitive to electromagnetic energy she had to stay home and was taught by a tutor. Very gradually, the Yarrow special formula was introduced. Eventually, she was able to attend school half time. Yarrow is also used to heal burns. It is excellent for radiation burns and deeply penetrating burns. Oh, wow. Very interesting. It says American Indian practi practitioners have used Yarrow to revive people from a coma. This makes a great deal of sense since a good sniff of the flowers make a sharp impression on the senses. Yarrow both dulls pain and heightens consciousness. In a similar manner, it causes bleeding, stops bleeding, and breaks up stagnant and coagulated blood. Such opposite traits are common in herbal medicine. Very interesting, very cool. So there's more cool stuff in here about yarrow i mean i could keep going but honestly i don't want to bore you guys if you are into plant medicine and you're into herbalism and you want to check this book out i do recommend it i haven't read the whole thing yet but there's a lot of interesting stuff in here a lot so 
Again, it's called The Book of Herbal Wisdom. I got it off of Amazon, and it's by Matthew Wood. It's a very big book, and yeah. So, also I wanted to share the best parts of the plant to use. This is based off of the book that I read that I just shared with you guys. It says here that the young leaves are best to be harvested and used in the spring and fall because apparently in, they have like two rounds of flowering so or two rounds of leaves so like you can get the brand new ones in the spring or you can come back in the fall and you know sometimes there will be another round of growth where there will be new leaves essentially so you want young leaves. Plants, it, the plant is more potent when grown in sandy or gravelly areas. So this is a very resilient plant and it actually prefers to be in less nutritional soil, gravelly soil. <clears throat> um, you want to pick plants that are shorter than three feet in the height um, and I think this is due to the potency so the shorter they are the more potent they are don't quote me on that but I believe that's what I read in the book something along those lines and then also you can also use the roots of this plant and you can use the flowers as well and you can use them fresh or dried so that's yarrow in a nutshell for you Hope you enjoyed this informational educational video about yarrow and its plant magic plant medicine uh powers and yeah so get you some yarrow and see what it's about thanks for watching and peace